tapped in and powered up. Hey buddies, we're back with another segment. It's another PAX. It's time to actually get to the PAX itself. Oh. <laughs> there, there was back a PAX. PAX. Yeah, PAX, PAX happened. Yeah, there was, and all these people were there. Check this out. What is this, like the line to rush it? It's like Black Friday. <laughs> no, this was uh, in the uh, middle. Game. This is in the middle of the show floor. <laughs> There's like people getting oh, ready to eat. Right. What? <laughs> what the was fuck? It, did it seem busier to you than other years? They're all lining up for this table. They're giving away some bullshit. Holy oh, really? Shit. I don't know what the hell that was. Well, where's the line? From what I heard, was that the overclocking booth? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Kind of. What does I know, the guy right? have toast on his head for? <laughs> what does toast on his head? I was trying toast. to point that oh, out to you the, the whole right. time we were up there. This is cardboard boxes. <laughs> From what I've oh, heard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is Boxing. kind of what uh, Comic-Con is like, though. Yeah. Like oh, That's really? kind of like how you get around at Comic-Con. Well, that's what it would that's... be like. That's what I've heard. I don't know if it is. People just, and whenever I talk to somebody about Comic-Con, they're like, like packs, but like you can't move. That's what so people say. Awesome. Comic Con is kind of miserable. Somebody says for sure. So this is the. This is the lineup on the first day. That's everybody waiting to get in while Becky and I are doing our media bit, and here they are coming in. <laughs> Yeah, it 20 was like, minutes huh. before anybody before media even before really oh, wow. because we walked in. up to the front gates and we we're like uh, where's the media line they're like just go through <laughs> and we go <laughs> in and there's no media and it's <laughs> okay. just us did for you 20 see minutes. a dude like without a shirt I'm like oh this <laughs> 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 is showering <laughs> just like little people running into like costumes and into the equipment <laughs> there it's were like, a lot they of power everything around skews around it was, um, Twitch big booth. Yeah. This thing was kind of the centerpiece. Oh, wow. Is that a 3D statue? Yeah. Okay, um, it kind of looks yeah. like two-dimensional. I don't know why I mean That's it. really cool. Fuck. Stay away. Yeah, so that was, those. um, that's for that game, guys. Uh, do you remember the five-player where one of you is that? Oh, and yeah, yeah, the yeah. four others uh, scattered oh, around. Oh, yeah. All right. That's cool. I think you could play it. I didn't. I I never bother with the actual show floor. So really, what you see from the edge is what I saw. <laughs> yeah. So um, we didn't go into anything. Oh my God, oh. Pink Ranger! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that Amy Jo Johnson? <laughs> and um, yeah, it was it was big. He's got gills. He's got gr gorilla. Yeah, too. they sh we show how big it is. Oh. I think That's here. Fucking yeah. big. That's put your yeah. hand up on, on his Holy block shit. just to show how big it is. Yeah, that's wow. a big That's a big thing. Yeah. Who makes these? I know, and where do they put it after? It's got it's like, yeah, the ghoul yeah. shooting out of his nose. It's yeah. just to make sure people don't go under the crotch all day. Pretty much. Pretty much. People don't touch it. I was thinking. Yeah, she's there guarding the crotch because yeah. you know everybody was under the crotch. So what do you, Kyle? What do you think of the Xbox booth? We're gonna get steal an OSB pilot. <laughs> so they're stealing your jam. Yeah, they're copying the kitchen that I did for Tintos animation. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sons of bitches. It's funny because it makes it look like Xbox One has just run out of money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, like, like, uh, it's a pretty like kind of scratched together look. It's kind of the way they were going for it, though. They had like. Barrels also in their booth, like, like steel dudes barrels. In barrels. Yeah, I want to with suspenders and barrels. I can't afford a uniform. <laughs> Some of them had fires coming out of them, and Xbox employees yeah. with cut finger gloves. Yeah, We're burning hard. these Xbox ones, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Times. This is uh, the floor before any media even got in. Oh no, this is that media point. Yeah. Um, people we didn't came see in. Roger Barr. 
No, I don't know if he was We there. missed so many people. Oh, really? Yeah. It hit. And then oh, Becky checked out nice. just a little bit of... Um, Murder Soul Suspect. Murder Soul Suspect. Cool. The Talk. creator of whom I'm in love with. Yeah, Becky oh, yeah. really liked this mm, this white-haired creator. I forget his <laughs> name. Matt. His is name it? is was Matt. Matt. Yeah, he was an attractive <laughs> older man. Anyways, um, he was really cool though. About um, I went up. Well, the first first I went up to the marketing, like the guy in charge of marketing, and said, uh, uh, "Are you one of the developers on Ghost Trick?" <laughs> Completely by accident. And Ghost Trick is the two di two dimensional uh, one created by the Phoenix Wright developer. That's oh, really? like the same concept. You're dead and you're solving your own murder. Oh shit. Um, and then, I, anyways, I ended up asking Matt. Uh, uh, if he's had, you know, the media drawing comparisons, and he said um, uh, it was inevitable. Even though they had never apparently played it, many of them they've played it since, huh. and they've they really appreciate the oh, game. Oh shit! <laughs> and he says yeah. that um, while uh, they, they haven't put any Easter eggs in yet, I talked mm. to him briefly about it, and he said that there's one that might incidentally be in there by mistake really? or by coincidence. Because I told him the spoiler ending for Ghost Trick. <laughs> and he said, that actually, that's funny you say that. And then he said why there's a reference to that in there that he thinks that people might end up construing as a reference to Ghost Trick. Oh, wow. Really? And he says, kind of a happy coincidence. That's interesting. <laughs> so if you want to see it as an Easter egg, you, you can. Also, look what Fraser made me do. Carrying a backpack on the back and front. Yeah, Jeez. my God, Fuck you off, Becky. God damn it. <laughs> She kept on insisting she takes all the shit and just kept on running away. I no, I've got, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> so a lot of this footage isn't really organized. I took, I made the mistake of taking one day to rest and then had one day to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Becky's mom is visiting. <laughs> Worst been, plan ever. It's been busy times. So, Hi, mom. What's going on She's there? She's watching right now. I saw a cafe. Yeah. Um. Uh, what? This is uh, Battle Block Theater. This is the Behemoth booth. They set this out for the press every year. Oh, okay. And nice it was like them. nice. Treat them better nice than Nice fresh fruit and oh, like really? pastry. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what we want to see. Here. Oh, Robin, I can't remember the guy in the uh, keyboard teaming up. They just met. Oh, really? Yeah, they Wait, no, didn't met. he play with 40? No. 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 They he played, played Boston, every he played time. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, this is the first yeah, time yeah. together. <laughs> and they played Fucking incredibly together. <laughs> Aw, fan gamer. Our buddy. Oh, he has oh. a tip box this year. Good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I told him to do that. And when people put I tips told. in... <laughs> That's what good managers do. Totally do. What's that? Um, whenever people put tips in... They would tell them you can buy our SD, whatever, whatever. Huh? You can buy our CD. nice extra. In oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, did. it's like a SNES game cartridge oh. that has an SD plug, but uh, it has their music on it. Oh, oh weird. <laughs> yeah. I asked him if he knows the Game of Thrones theme, and he doesn't. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, and also Kyle sent us a message asking us to look for baby stuff. Oh yeah. And so I did. <laughs> you're like, uh, what? Oh, what? Uh, I, I, yeah, I was like, yes. what the fuck is this supposed to be? So I looked around the whole <laughs> floor for like baby, like onesies and stuff. Like there's stuff in them. I thought you wanted a baby game. It didn't oh. specifically say clothing. <laughs> I was like, what does he want? A baby what? Look at Do, you know game for baby. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to find something baby related? In my head I figured, oh no, everyone's got baby stuff. Yeah, That's there was one booth that did, but it was like some random weird monster onesie for 20 bucks, and I was like, fuck that. So I figured Pesky Plumber got you covered. Yeah, I know, that's incredible. Yeah, I'm and really then, then there was like the flask and... <laughs> In case you don't know, this is them from all three days, like just uh, checking in with them each day. Yeah. That's all, that's a guitar, that's like a keytar. Basically, yeah. Flat. Fraser was making fun of him because it didn't have I the glow. I can't even touch that. It said he was lazy. Yeah. I don't even try. He's doing it on so one good. quarter of the keys. Oh, 
And also, oh. Fan Gamer is getting are they, looking into baby stuff. Let's just so, say, because Reed's got a yeah. baby that I see every day on yeah. uh, the so Facebooks and stuff. So we'll hit them up for baby. Nice. Check out this moment where, on a vine, I ask them to at, uh, look jazzy, give a jazzy face. <laughs> give a jazzy Watch face. this. That's it. <laughs> 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 His best uh, jazzy face. Uh, that's awesome. I like how every time we say it, more people don't know that we're having a kid. Yeah. Kyle's having a kid? Kyle's Four weeks out. Kid. Four weeks left. <laughs> Four weeks. Or two or six. Yeah, it's ready to go. It's fully cooked now. Ready to pop. <laughs> it could come out at any time and it won't be tarted. Yeah, exactly. Well, it might be. It just won't Not be. Not like me. Well, if he's anything like Kyle when he was young, this teacher's you are gonna think, think he is. Yep. <laughs> you, you guys saw that on the show before? Boy, the photo, which one? No, how teachers. I said that, yeah, no, I said that, um, what's the game where we all told the press stories? Oh, Isaac, yeah. Finding Isaac. Finding yeah, 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 yeah. Twice, yeah. I think, in that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the press room, just in case you're Someone interested. Someone let Kyle be produced. Yes. Same, same. <laughs> how much do you think that's worth? $10. 10 11 uh, the Dew! Well, plus Mountain Dew, 15. The whole thing with Mountain Dew was like 10. <laughs> oh, I think Christ. it was that like eight is. fries. 12. Is. You got a lot of sweet and sour though, was that free? <laughs> so sad. That's almost worth no, it. No, that wasn't free. You didn't pay for all the sweet and sour? Oh, wait. Didn't I say it no, on the vine how much it was worth? <laughs> Anyways. I think you said 12 dollars Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it was 13 maybe total. That's fucking crazy. Jesus. Uh, like like people, then people responded to my vine saying, the rookie mistake buying convention <laughs> food. You hey, know what? Rookie. We hate convention food There's too, but we need, else in Boston. Becky and I need to or get there. shit Sometimes done. Yeah. Just I need to eat every two hours. Yeah. And it takes like an hour to walk anywhere yeah. close yeah. to the convention it's aside from the restaurant anything right else. there. Yeah. yeah, especially in Boston. It's Ooh, eight it's minutes there. away to the closest food. We used to always go to lunch during Bax's until kind Holy of we shit, realized guys. how fucking like that just eats away. We did, not, two hours? We did not eat with every you guys. Like oh, we didn't really? make time to eat. We ate like Jeez. almonds and snacky bars basically oh, yeah. the whole time. Because yeah. we'll yeah. you don't make it a priority when it's just oh, like nice. two of us. So the samurai gun being played just outside oh, the wow. show floor and he's the guy who actually did the music on Sweet. the game Doing and he was there like improving cool. to their play to That's their awesome. gameplay cool. it was pretty cool very uh, thanks Nate kickstarter, kickstarter had their own room in the upper floor where you could go in and you put on 3D 3D glasses and you look around the room and you could find like secrets huh? hidden on the wall yeah. what I don't know, uh, too crowded for me. I didn't uh, really deal with it, but it was like a room full of games that are being kickstarted currently or cool. have been kickstarted. That's and cool. so that was cool. neat. Yeah. Pretty good platform right. for it. Kickstarter owes most of their success nowadays yeah. to video games. Yeah. I would say, like, I would, I don't know the numbers, but I'm going to guess and say that 75% of Kickstarter now is video games. Look at the name Or, of like, the biggest reaching ones for sure. Yeah. Look at the third one from the bottom. These French fries are terrible hot dogs. <laughs> That's the name of the game. I don't. I haven't looked it up yet. I don't know. Sweet. Sounds Hilarious. genius. These French fries are terrible hot dogs. And I just thought that was so fucking funny. The Yoshi hoodie I gave to in Sean. The locker. Yeah, like we shoved everything in, and it's just like. Oh, like you guys hadn't given it to him yet. No. Yeah. I yeah. thought you like ran into it, like oh, he stored it here. <laughs> He hates it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the trash bin. Is that the land party area? Yeah. Classic. This is the Borderlands. They had that meteor there. And then the, pre the booth itself, Bo? like from yeah. above, Pre-sequel. looks like there's nothing that yeah. is accessible to public. Yeah, so you, it's a cardboard box. you really got to do that enough. with your booths. If, you, if people are above it, you got to close it off. Yeah. That looks shitty as hell. Yeah, My really assumption does. is that inside the meteor, is the actual where they were showing the gameplay but because where else would they have shown it to the public there's huge lines around that booth all weekend <laughs> it's just a bunch of boxes because there's a new borderlands game <laughs> out called borderlands That's a moon two oh it's the moon okay uh borderlands 2 the pre-sequel it's not borderlands 3 yeah but it's not a dlc it's like a dlc pack kind of it's like a <laughs> she even um people will probably tell me that's not true I talked to a media person, like an actual rep there, and said, it's kind of like a bunch of DLC. She says it's like a big, huge, giant DLC, okay. though. It's like a, it's its own story, multiple story arcs within one that's like, huh. it's the same engine. That's why it's kind of like DLC is because it's not a new engine. 
it's not Borderlands 3, and you can apparently play as Claptrap in it at oh, some really? point. So that's cool. Interesting. <laughs> gotta, close, gotta close the top of your booth, folks. That looks really budget. That's why, right there. If they can see from above, you gotta do it. Oh, Kyle. Oh, real Jeez. talk. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Trade show 101. Yes. Come on. Yes. yes. That's a, like a triple A game. Come on. What are you guys doing? Come on. What but the the girl the girl for the media there kind of described it as you won't people want more Borderlands so this is kind of like here's that's more cool. Borderlands <laughs> that's what that's literally that's, what she did that's how she, she did so it. That's, that's a good description that's your description of Borderlands uh, pre sequel Cartoon Network Games has their own booth attached to Adult Swim on the other side awesome. their media people are amazing Adult that's Swim's good. media that's people good. are amazing. so proactive. Yeah. And so personable. Angie, her name is Angie. Um, as a fledgling media, dealing with, I've dealt with a lot of stuff. I get a lot of emails that say, tell us if you want a code. Adult Swim's one of the few that always just says, here's a code. Oh, yeah. really? And it does a big difference to me, because yeah. I'm never, like, asking for code. You gotta it wait for two like, days and maybe get it. Well, I don't give a shit about the waiting. I feel like a fucking mooch. I don't feel like real media. I don't feel like I deserve free yeah, codes. Yeah, that's true. You send me a just code... Just that little tiny bit, eh? It does a big difference huh. to me, and I like not, you know... But it is true, having to go through the process of waiting also, because what's a $5 game to... Yeah. Two more emails and waiting yeah. two days. I'm yeah, just exactly. gonna buy the fucking game. Exactly. Wildstar? Yeah, what's Wildstar? Uh, they were the ones that threw. I the, that's all I one know. One of the parties now. one year. They're an MMO. They had a cool CG cinematic with a girl who talks kind of like Sandy Cheeks. Oh, yeah. So it's a tiny waist and big boobs. I do remember that. Uh, that's bleh. okay. There's that guy. Bleh. I didn't feel like I missed Nintendo or. Yeah, that's really Sony. crazy. The show still looks pretty big. Yeah. Everyone looks like they put in quite a bit of effort. Twitch feels like they've redone their booth yeah, again, from what I can crazy. tell. I didn't talk to them this year. I don't even know if Carnage was there. The guy that I always talk yeah. to, he's their community uh, or what wrangler. Or is, I don't know. I don't know if he's, I don't know. I haven't touched base with John in a long time. But all I know is that they threw a VIP party that was closed to the public. Nice. Um, very exclusive access. And I got on the guest list, but they wouldn't put Becky on. What? what the and they wouldn't fuck? give. I said, "Does this come with a plus one?" They're like, "No." I was like, "Well, can my co-host and girlfriend Becky be coming to this?" You know. And they're like, "No, the sorry, space is limited." I was like, "Okay." What well, the fuck? Feel free to give my space away to somebody because I That's don't go ridiculous. to things alone. Yeah. <laughs> it was just That's weird. Very yeah. weird. It's like, why even invite me at all? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It just um And it seemed like it was a bust. Oh really? It I don't know. I couldn't yeah, from some of the Just from the Twitter. Vines. I d I don't know yeah. if it actually was. I didn't talk to anyone who went. You know, it's a it's a it's a stark contrast between Curse and Twitch. Yeah, Curse yeah, yeah, to me sure. is the the way to throw a party. Yeah. Twitch is is the exact opposite of the type of thing I want to be associated so far, with. Yeah. Um, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> having us on your channel right now. <laughs> there is a dude in it. I hope you get competition what? soon, Twitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm not. So Why is there a dude in there? there? There's a dude in there for some reason, even though he's standing there like a statue. Yeah. I know. Holy shit. And there is kids games. Oh, I like the look of that guy. Yeah. There's supposed to be someone oh. in there, it looks like. Yeah, yeah I think that maybe the poor bastard around. in the statue outfit swaps these every so often. <laughs> All right, he looks kind of miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Did they like plan for them to walk around, but they didn't have a minder, and it would be way too ridiculous to try it on your own? Cypran says that he tried scaring people every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> the guy uh, in the costume. Awesome. So, um, oh, you can do land shark shit with that. It's just a friendly dolphin. <laughs> Candigram. Candigram. <laughs> Everyone's copying uh, Fan Gamer now. Oh, yeah. oh, like oh this is the PlayStation Ooh. area. So PlayStation was there. Sony was Sony. there in a small a capacity. Small this was their community Like underneath booth. the stairs. Interesting. It was very like almost. It felt like to say they were there. Yeah. yeah. It, this was underneath the escalators. Yeah. <laughs> this was hidden away. Which booth do you have left? We need something here. Come Basically, on. the cheapest area I think they could get. They had rare merch that you could buy that was they. I think they said only Still really available there or something. 
Because they dug it up out of a storage locker from It was like the whatever. off prints that weren't yeah. quite right. <laughs> and we also... I love PlayStation. We also know that <laughs> their indie people were trawling about the indie place all weekend, making deals, wheeling and dealing, as nice. they do. Yeah. So they had a presence. It's good. Is it interesting? It was like they were going for a family setup. Yeah, and it looks like they didn't put zero effort in. I would see it. Can I have a beer? Check out oh, these. Oh, this. This game. We wanted this so here? badly. All, everything they have to offer was amazing. I like that. Yeah. This is one of the uh, few games that I'm going to show you. I'm not actually going to really show you much of the game. We're eventually going to cover it. Oh, my. It's called that's Max made, Gentleman. That's made for you. I <laughs> know, right? Hat. Jesus Christ, right. too. That's a body pillow. It's, yeah, oh. a body pillow cover. But they only had, like, three to give away oh, one really? each day for whoever got the top score. Oh, seller. Yeah. This is called um, Max Gentleman, and it's about collecting top hats while remaining... Uh, uh, maintaining the poise of a gentleman. So as you can see, there's a uh, corgi. Uh, that's a dog. Usually they're shirtless men, but these Octodad. two players yeah. chose the weirdest <laughs> characters. Octodad and a corgi. But you're supposed to move about as you collect. Sorry, I don't know what my camera's doing here. You're, you're moving about. Oh, you just collect them. You're supposed to collect hats as they fly through the air while receiving beers as well. Oh, weird. And I think you can also mess each other up. It's yeah, the most it ridiculous like shit it's I've ever seen. It's like a society where people are over the top polite. Fairway solitaire blast on a toilet. That what? No. Okay. Right. I don't know. Funny though. That was great. <laughs> Some of the kids had a lot of fun with that one. And then oh. there's this. What this is out now. Last vest or something? Oh, that's awesome. They're gentlemen fighting. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. It's using a connect. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like how Jenkins in the third. everyone uh, tries to make their arms wobbly when they play it. It's so fucking messed up. Like, <laughs> and the arms, you can't really tell there, but they're clipping and they look glitchy and oh, yeah. shitty. And it's like totally all on purpose. Uh, <laughs> it's the dumbest crap. <laughs> and um, they like they did it as an art installation or something in their local I think oh, city, really? and they won. <laughs> yes. And Archibald it's... Fernley and Harvey Jenkinson. <laughs> Those are good names. Oh yeah, they looked like they're having a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a real hit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the Connect was supposed to be used for. Yep. Yeah. I don't know why anybody made anything different. <laughs> Crypt of the Necro Dancer, local people. Yeah, Jesse. You. As Audio, usual, yeah. it had the biggest um, crowd about it. That's awesome. Almost anything at PAX. Nice. This game is such a hit. And, and it, man, the Necro Dancer guys were going out drinking like every night. Apparently, they're out every night with each other <laughs> drinking. Yeah. Nice. And then they come onto the floor the next day, and there was like five of them, so they had to be like. Yeah, that in sounds it. like this. <laughs> yeah. What, you been hanging out with them? I used to work with them. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot the first time we ever saw them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. All right, so anyways, it was That's a big awesome. hit as usual. We can't wait to cover it on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Come to box. <laughs> yeah, In Jazz the Punk was there. Product. You guys remember the Jazz Punk um, preview I showed you? No. The Jazz Punk uh, trailer that was yeah, kind maybe. of like uh, Brazil or like, um, you know, the style of, remember it was the guy who jacked into his head? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tried to pack a pigeon in a suitcase? Oh, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of the creators back there. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like the types of guys that made that game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, he said he was really bored. Oh, and... They're from Montreal, by the way. Nice. I was out. No, Toronto. Toronto. I thought they said Montreal. They have, like, references okay. to the... They're Scott from Toronto. Okay, they're from Toronto, then. Um, the other thing, Wolfenstein. 
uh, kind of, you know, a setup. Lots of places to play, which is cool. Apparently, they threw one of the coolest parties. Oh, oh shit, yeah, really? I didn't bother because I knew it was one of those PR parties that would probably be very hard to it get into. It was from like seven to ten as well. Yeah, oh, weird. So. Like one of those really short ones, kind of like the Dishonored party that they said they had people in costume handing out hors d'oeuvres, but the lineup was around like four blocks. Yeah. Um, apparently, this one, similar giant line, apparently. Um, but those who did get in were treated to a Beatles uh, cover band that was uh, oh, like in German. singing like with German accents. Oh, yeah. really? Um, actors uh, going around dressed as actors from the era uh, oh, shit. Um, with German accents. Really? Um, handing out a, a cool. theme party, like a very, awesome. very cool. You know, the type of thing that I haven't even seen footage of it. Uh, yeah. I, I hope they upload some to their channel or something like that. Cool that they did that. Yeah. You would. Th you would. They had Wolfenstein era decorations inside. Says nice. Piano Slave. And I don't want anybody to construe this as being like stuck up or anything. But just to prove how worthless these are, th these don't get you in. <laughs> this doesn't yeah. get you into any party like that. You think it would? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would think. No, we get would. media room, and the media room. Media room's nice. It's got lockers. But the lockers are all taken up. They're all taken up. Yeah, yeah there was like 30 there, in there. There wasn't many lockers. Yeah. Media doesn't get you much. That's all right. The main power of the media badge is being able to walk up to indies and them knowing that like you I need something. to push past these other people to make yeah. sure I talk to them. Yulia susses you out. Yeah, Yulia from Speedrunners <laughs> definitely hunts you down. <laughs> Trial oh, Trials Fusion. <laughs> oh, Kyle, I what? don't know if we have footage of it. Trials Fusion had like um. We don't have footage of it. They had BMXers on a half pipe. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. But we never ended up seeing them like, doing it. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you love BMXers. I love stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, Spark. Uh, they big part of the the Xbox booth was dedicated to Spark. Um, which again, you guys weren't here when Becky and I covered it, but it's a very cool. Is it you? Yeah, make it is, it your is own really game yeah. in it. And it's yeah. incredible what it's capable of. Apparently, okay. Becky, one thing you and I didn't cover, it has mocap capabilities with the Jesus. Kinect. Oh, seriously? You can make your character do what you want in it. Is that guy again? You guys remember him? Yeah, I remember that. He was from another... They almost yeah. take these yeah, kids Yeah, watch out. these two kids. <laughs> well, he can't. He has a very limited... I know. They need to get out of <laughs> Listen to the way. kid. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even stop for him. Whoa! Whoa, that guy almost ran me over. <laughs> that was the best part of PAX. He's not like Mickey or Goofy. He's scary. <laughs> and then there was this booth again. I don't know. I got multiple shots of people. Because I think the... there was the kids this time. <laughs> I okay. want to see a pervy. And they were dancing. I really want to see a pervy guy just sitting in front of the Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sit on the toilet. <laughs> sit on the toilet. <laughs> oh, do you, what do you think these guys are representing? Uh, goat simulator. There yeah. you go. <laughs> and she made the hat. Oops. They bought the other goat costume. Though. I asked him for his business card and he actually reached into his onesie and like <laughs> our, the bulge on his crotch started going like this and I'm like, I don't want it anymore. I don't want that. No. You should have it in a better spot. <laughs> and I talked to them frankly about, um, like I said, so like, you know, about the game. You didn't expect this to be a success, but like, you know, this is going to fund your other projects, right? And what he says, projects? no, this is it now. We're concentrating <laughs> on Go Goat Simulator. I was like, really? And he's like, uh, he says that it you started ride out that one -hit wonder. as a thing because they got together as a fresh studio and none of them had developed on this new engine yet. And I, I forget what the engine is. I'm assuming Unity or maybe it's Unreal. Or it said Unreal know. above. Was it Unreal? Okay. So they... They wanted to get familiar with it, so they just made this, they started laughing at it, then the internet <laughs> laughed at it, so they made it into a thing. The uncle game that I keep saying like, is probably what they're really trying to work on, they're not. They're helping publish <laughs> it for another person. Oh. Yeah. So they're not even doing it's that. It's not like That's their awesome. game. We're so, just it is it's unreal. like Frankie Goes to Hollywood later. or something. Yeah, I was gonna write this but that pretty much <laughs> sums up their attitude. They're just like, <laughs> We made Goat Simulator. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. That's awesome. That's they were cool people. They were nice. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. But I told them even, I said, on our show, we played it, and about after five minutes, we were like, yep, this is what we expected. <laughs> yeah. I told them the truth. I said, like, it kind of wore out quickly. But I also said that we acknowledge that a lot of people have said it's a lot deeper than you think. Yeah, you we spend mentioned, a lot of time. like, 
people in the chat like the had actual said, goals and stuff yeah that they had spent like nine hours on it and they were like yeah you can actually spend quite a bit of time on it but they <laughs> yeah, weren't insulted we so we whatever grind. or you can just ram your head into shit and blow it up it's cool yeah, yeah. anyways then there Take was your this money please this was a big theme of this pack's Oculus. This is the line for the Oculus yeah. booth. Um, so there, it, it wraps around you get to there a bit, Facebook. and then it comes back this way. <laughs> Log in and browse your Facebook. It'll be sweet. <laughs> was there actually yeah. like a pink eye outbreak that previous year? Was that just a thing people That's were saying? That's ridiculous. Sounds like some people. It would, would have out. to touch your physical eyeball for that to happen. Mm. <laughs> Unless You'd someone have to fart in it right somebody before someone it right put it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But then that next person would go. really have to push it against their yeah, eye, like, right? They'd have to, oh my god, it feels bad, but and whatever. <laughs> apparently that sign was up all weekend. Basically, Please, you couldn't even get oh into god, the line, let alone... That work. Yeah. That's wrong. <laughs> ben, read that. Mm, so that Becky and I, <laughs> during press hour, before the press got in, we saw the Oculus booth, and we were like, oh cool, we better make it, like, before press hour's over, that we'll line big. up. It's very big. And then when press hour was over, we went over to it when it was just about to wrap up and the line was about that big. Oh, yeah. Sure. And we were like, that, wow. Uh, from the media. media. Yeah. Hmm. And this is the- And it sucks because we looked at it and there was one guy just sitting down. And we were like, oh, we should do that. And we were like, eh. Oh, really? Yeah. I still kind of want to leave my first impressions to the show. Well, yeah. you kind of used it. Already. Well, I'm going to show that. Okay. Um, <laughs> the thing is, any indie, indie game that had the oculus though the previous version was a huge hit people were lining up for oh, those really? yeah because they had oculuses this was one of them it was a steampunk golfing game so i got my oh, first geez. kind of try at it wait that one we saw years ago i uh, know it's a different yeah. one it's no no this is the one golf. from years ago oh, oh it is yeah, it it's the zombies. first generation of oculus skinheads oh, okay extremely ro low resolution it's more of like a proof shaved. of concept not a, so not a skinhead per se First of all, shut the fuck up! <laughs> First of all, I can't really have an impression on it because it's so low resolution. Yeah. Like, the new one that apparently was being downloaded has way higher resolution. Looking around was okay. This game wasn't really the game to be implementing it. Plus you're chewing gum. It felt reasonably <laughs> natural. There's a reason for that. Mm. Uh, you're why? chewing gum. Oh, well I was feeling vertigo in it. Yeah. In, oh, really? And you said it centered you. Yeah. And it helped me. It felt like my ears needed to pop while playing it. That's really? how weird it was. Yeah. Wow, really? Um, but at the same time, I was so preoccupied with how low res... It's, it's not just low resolution. It's insanely low resolution. Really? Huh? This one. This uh, was the first dev kit to go Dan. out. Oh, okay. I meant Fraser. What? You asked Dan if he had tried the Oculus. Uh. <laughs> he didn't. Who did I... What are you... <laughs> no. Dan, he's blind. Yeah, that's why I've asked him. He's partially blind. Okay. Yeah, I asked Dan if he had tried it because he can, the way he plays video he games see... is by getting way, right oh, up okay, close. So yeah, and he can see the, <laughs> the 3DS XL. potentially has, has potential for people like Dan. That's why he asked you, Dan. Yeah, not mm, just to Not be a just dick. for some reason. Not for shits and games. <laughs> he's fucking with me by saying that in there right now. Oh, he knows why I asked him. We had an extended conversation about it. Dan <laughs> likes to fuck with people. <laughs> um, hey, Dan, can you hear this? Dan and I, he, he, has he can just rail. gave you the finger, and yes, he probably saw that. <laughs> Anyways, Dan and I have been going back and forth on, on email, though, about um, games for the blind and partially Ooh. blind, and I'm creating a segment on some games using his opinions. Nice. That's awesome. But not for today. That was It was cool that they made that controller for their steampunk yeah, game. Totally. Yeah, totally. Cool. I thought that was awesome. Did anyone remember at Canada's Wonderland those uh, virtual reality machines? Do you guys remember those? Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember one. those being the future. I was like, oh my yeah. god, I'm gonna have one of those in my house when I'm older. It's gonna be the best thing ever. This I don't is remember like those. A step in that direction, but um, it went away for like ten years. When I tried one of those, uh, I was I was all excited about it and stuff. But then the guy talking to me, he was running it. He's oh, yeah. like, the systems that are about to come out are gonna blow these out of the water. Really? And it was right before 64 and PlayStation came out. Aw. So crazy. Isn't I it nice that you guys one. got to go to awesome places as kids? <laughs> you didn't go to Canada's Wonderland? No! Till when? Till I was like 19! Uh, that's pretty sad. With me? <laughs> yes, it is sad! <laughs> Alright. That's pretty sad. Anyways. <laughs> I'll take you there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, cosplay this year, sparse as hell. Holy shit. It's really? get its super own segment. sparse. Super, yeah. super sparse. Wow. We got Weird. maybe like three. We got some cool people. 
You don't they're see a lot cute. of toads on the yeah, on deep. the show floor. Uh, well, you do, but they're not dressed as toads. Hi <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's a good thing. Yeah. Doing good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Oh. She's, She's getting so water in her bag. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's a good idea. It is actually quite nice. I liked this. The bodysuit I'm This is a marauder. Awesome. What is this? I, at first I thought it was Garrus from Mass Effect, but... It is Mass Effect. It's a marauder enemy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I've been called Saren, That's awesome. too, but... That is really detailed. Thank you. I thought it was like an alt costume Thanks. of Garrus's or something, yeah, but yeah. yes. Tip Commander, you oh, must be for oh, yeah. Is he no. getting healed? Well, listen to me here. <laughs> It says Commander, you must be Chris Hadfield. He has a cough! He's got a cough! His dad there is saying, you like Chris Hadfield though, don't you? Because he flies! And I was saying he's not Hadfield because he has an American flag on it. Oh yeah, shit, eh? Let me get a shot of all you guys at once here. The whole group of this was during one of our meetups, and we just saw them, so we combined the groups. <laughs> and they had met at right. another convention before, apparently. Nice. There weren't actually that many Jinx cosplays, guys. I predicted like a thousand, but right. there weren't. Action poses. We saw like here I go. One. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, that's a pretty good Godot. <laughs> and one more sway. Good stuff. Good job, guys. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome. We Can met we at meet Anime us? Boston before. Okay. <gasps> Holy Three shit. Me yeah, I cut before I said, I cut the camera. Listen. Three Mias. <laughs> After I stopped pressing record, I went. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had kept recording. Are you going on an adventure? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know who you are? Oh. <laughs> daddy dressed cool. me up daddy like this. Daddy dressed me up like this. <laughs> <laughs> the dad was super, oh, whoa, whoa. super cute. Sam oh, yeah. and her crew. Can I get that? Uh, dark link has battery. red contacts in. Yeah, oh, nice. it's crazy, eh? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> he needs the other link to get a sword out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and and for me start strike. She's the most badass link, obviously. Good job, guys. Thanks. They're going in. Oh! oh. Kiss, I think. <laughs> I don't know where they're going. Oh! Good. I don't know what that's from, but he's no. pretty cool. Yeah, League of Legends? It looks like Santa. Probably, Probably like yes. badass Santa. Santa. Just do an action pose. It's League of Legends, right? <laughs> Looking good, guys. Thank you. I know. We actually got more than I thought we did. Hog Father, I'm nice. saying. Hog <laughs> Gordon Freeman. Whoa. Did really he make Looking that? Good. Thanks a lot, man. Looks yeah. like it. Very good. You are. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that guy fucking man. Oh, it was like, all duct tape. Yeah. Holy shit. That's like a femme predator. Yeah. With fishnet stocking. Oh my. Do you well. do an action pose? It's so weird that you can walk by that stuff and not think twice. Thank you. That's where somebody said video games awesome. Oh nice. Kind of hard. Kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. Probably League of Legends. I don't know. Yeah, League of Legends. Well, well it almost looks like Journey. Yeah, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not. They though. cape is kind of new, like like a Journey steam punk thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah really. Warhammer 40k something. K shades. Yeah. Kid having the best day of his life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I get an action shot, guys? I'm out of here. <laughs> Cheating. Thank you. Oh, 
I'm someone now. Who's Big Ranger again? Big Ranger! Kimberly. That's Luca from cool. Chrono Trigger. That's a Thanks, personal favorite. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This is one of our one of our fans. I forget who did it. I forget who did it too. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I even received the email and downloaded these, and I forget who did it. Anyways, got tried to get links to do the we because um, <laughs> you guys haven't been here. That's for. the guy who ran through on the first day. I think. Yeah. I think oh, so I think too. it is too. That's weird. Um, uh, <laughs> Cypran. It was Cypran. Cypran did it. Thank you. Um, uh, on our Wind Waker playthrough, the Wind Waker link has this fa uh, facial expression that's constantly like you have to play it to know what I mean but he's just like <laughs> and we've given him the weh voice like weh. Mm. Weh. and so he went around trying to get and I'm playing. But it seems a lot of them didn't know what he meant <laughs> and that's not even a link so I don't understand <laughs> I'm so confused. I know about that. Literally wet. Complimentary champagne. And a chaise lounge, you slut. You got a fucking chaise lounge. Oh, oh yeah. shit. We got a chaise lounge. It was at the Revere. And complimentary champagne. Really? Although we in. drank it before this point. So that was water point. at that point. Yeah. I finally got to see fucking cheer. Hey, nice. Norm. Oh, thank you, Luca. It's a rancor. Stop it. Oh. That's my acting Star face, Trek. which is why I never acted. I think he was excited to sit on the throne from Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> it was that the first thing we did pre media hour. We ran to oh, see Game of Thrones. So he could sit on the throne, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was just a yeah, fucking backdrop. That's fucking incredible. Even though it's been at such so little yeah, tiny bitch cons. It's coming here. Like, it's gonna be at really? the stupid one here, and it was so. at the stupid one over in the Fan Expo in Toronto. Yep. Jesus. With an attendance of like a f fucking fiftieth of what goes to packs, and they had a backdrop from Game of Thrones. Check out this cardboard fitting. I was so upset. Bad news, get the bitch cons. Yeah, that's what I said. Guys, Xbox has fallen on hard times. <laughs> they made their booth out of actual particle board this year. <laughs> you guys pumped? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> That He's guy's our excited. Fan. Wow. <laughs> it worked once in the light, over in the light side, but the dark side <laughs> wouldn't so respond much. to me. It's not the Olympics, Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really, where you can just yell it out and yeah. everything. Hey, picture time! <laughs> Woo! Yes, but that guy was actually a fan. Come on! <laughs> so he saved me. One ham, two hams. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> These are just vines. I just thought I'd throw them in the end here. People making their way in. Oh, I bet you're fucking hungry for some fucking <laughs> nuggets. Get the new combo pack, twelve ninety nine. Pack 2014, we wish we were here. Sign the turbines! We wish we were here. <laughs> Three. <laughs> His hair. Yeah. It's really... <laughs> Good job. Fiffles does one of the best Aww. ones, actually. <laughs> Fiffles looks genuinely like she's on a show. Oh, yeah, that's a total, uh, like, look and then smile. Yeah. 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 And that's Becky after Kaze, where people were thinking we might come out. <laughs> and party. Uh, so I just sat on the computer while she slept. Sleepy times. This was the fan that Whoa. when we asked for just for a fan. Whoa. They gave you, like, the drywall drying fan? Basically. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for her to get blown into the bathroom. Now that's the kind of fan I want. <laughs> that's wicked. It was loud. It kept me up the first night. Yeah. I only got like four hours sleep because it was so loud. And then I wanted to do like a Superman thing. I gotta hand it to them. The Revere. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> they initially... We've only had one other hotel that couldn't find a fan at first. And I've always thought that was fucking bullshit. Yeah. That's one like amenity that you should expect. Uh, what was it? The gold in Vegas? Um, what's the name of that one that we uh, stayed at? Mandalay Bay. Mandalay the Mandalay Bay. Bay can go to fucking hell. They basically snootily said no. 
<laughs> why would you Wayne get a fan? Why would you fan? need a fan? They're the only hotel that's ever not accommodated. The Revere almost got on that list of asshole hotels because they'd apparently, they said, given out all their fans. Oh. But the guy, the front desk guy, went and hunted utility co- closets, so he found this nice. one somewhere. Mm. Well, that should and put them on the top of the books then. That yeah. does, because they went the extra mile. They, like, because we, we thought they were lying when yeah. they said that oh. they'd given them all I kind of called bullshit yeah. on them. But then they... If it was a hot weekend, maybe no, no. Well, yeah, and it was. Why did so, like convention with yeah, those fucking video games in room right? game <laughs> yeah. machines? Awesome. And here's the view that we had. Ooh. And we had an actual balcony. Ooh. Yeah, we could go Oh, you can actually go outside. Ah, shit, eh? But we didn't. Cars on the Wait, is it, a, is it the hotel yeah. we had before? No, no we went no, to a different one. Yeah. Further away, unfortunately. Yeah. Lots of modern furniture in there, hey? Yeah, it was actually it was quite nice. So, and then here's some plain footage. I don't know. I just tossed everything on the end here. Tourist. West Coast. Maybe that's us coming home. Yeah, yeah it's probably Looks like. Alberta and BC. Yep. Oh. There it is. Hi, guys. We're home. <laughs> <laughs> they were happy. Yeah. Uh, so that was PAX. Pax, PAX, PAX. So it was, it was good. Uh, so Nintendo and, and Sony not being there. Did really, Sony wasn't there when it comes down yeah. to it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that it had that great of an effect on me because we really don't give a shit about the main yeah. floor. We really care about the yeah. indies. It's all about the FaceTime you get with all the developers. I think the only big booth we've ever really cared about has been Nintendo, though. Because they've had a couple games that we've always That's wanted to The play. only time yeah. that I care about the main floor is like when there was a new Wii U to check out. Something yeah. that you've yeah. never touched before. The only thing I was interested in this year was touching the Oculus, and that was way too big of a line. Yeah. And everybody else felt the same way, it seemed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you yes, know, thank though, you for cat sitting, Deacon. Was there like a big game that everybody was talking about? Or? No. No? No parties? Really? Parties weren't really going parties on. Not, not we ended up drinking at Cheers, which was really That's cool, though. Yeah, we ended up having a party night at... Oh, yeah! Was Ted there? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, dancing. We uh, we went to your... both cheers. We went to the exterior, oh, the one for the exterior the shot, interior. and the interior one. We nice. had an amazing patio actually, because yeah. oh, really? it was a really warm night, and Sweet. it had a really nice patio. And somebody proposed. To somebody somebody proposed out under the light. Oh, not one of the fans. Did you boo no. someone? <laughs> no, they like rang a bell and shit. Like <laughs> that happens all the time. <laughs> the the proposal bell. The proposal <laughs> bell. But you guys probably felt this from previous Pax East, and we felt it this year too. Was uh. It's tough as a Canadian going to a place like Boston where everybody is rude. Not everybody. Service industry is rude. The yeah. people that you have to deal with over the counter are, and the people that you have to deal with in the cab, the cab drivers, <laughs> they are fucking dickheads. Yeah. Okay, okay. Almost every one of them. So the very first morning we were there, we were walking into the hotel room. And I was like, oh my god! And Fraser was like, what? Like, totally annoyed with me because I was acting like it was some crazy emergency. (laughs) But there were these two girls getting in a cab. The one girl gets in and closes the door, and the next girl gets in, half in, half out, and the cab drives away. And And she she tumbles into the street. And the cab driver gets out like, (laughs) what? You remember though, you remember when that like really nice cab driver and the guys tried to get in? Like, oh yeah, while well, it back. was fully occupied. But then the cab driver was like, sorry guys, you know, cab's full. Oh like, yeah, and the people oh, yeah, across like, the street, go across the street, there's we'll tons of cabs right there. there, you'll be okay. And he's, he's like, thanks a lot yeah. on my birthday, you faggot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the side of the road yeah, to die. faggot. <laughs> but it's funny because, uh-huh. yeah, as Ronnie Cato says, East Coast, sorry, Fresh. That's the thing, like, we met tons of people from Boston. Oh, yeah. That are awesome. Yeah. yeah. It just nice. seems like oh, the service public. <laughs> and yeah. we asked them, yeah. we said, like, explain it. Like, what's the what's the deal? And he says, I think that, like, it's tradition here to, if you work in the service industry, to let out all your aggression <laughs> when you're tradition. working. To and, not bring it home, but to let it out. Yeah. While <laughs> and the thing is, I, th- I feel like on the East Coast, it's like they they like see it as part of their charm. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, we're rude. Yeah, good old Boston. We're rude. It's like, I don't. Hey, fuck you. I'm racist and it's a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> it, Do you it's... remember the McDonald's You'll... Sunday night? We went to McDonald's on Sunday night. Oh, the oh, McDonald's right. were being rude to people. Like, we saw a guy walk Mc... away because, like, McDonald's these, was rude. These ladies were making fun of this guy, all like cackling and laughing at him. Oh, and he's like, there. fuck this. And he walks away because there's. Christ. They were taking the joke that they were closed too far, and he was like, I'm sick of this. And he walks oh. away. And, um, what? Sorry, continue telling your story, then I have one. 
My story is just that, and you'll just forgive us if us as Canadians just don't know how to deal with it. It's very shocking as Canadians where everybody is, like when we got back, it oh. felt so weird. Everyone Canadians was are so, so nice. nice. <laughs> it's, that's you what, finally experienced what We felt like what Americans the coming thinks. to Canada. Canadians are nice. Yeah. And I don't know. I just enjoy that. I like nice yeah. when people act nice. There's probably nice parts of Boston. Let's put it this way. As an asshole, I find it hard to adjust when people are more assholish than me. <laughs> My barometer You're is set at the Fraser <laughs> level. And if you dip below Fraser level, it's hard to it's, dip below that. It's but shocking. But when you do, it's shocking. <laughs> okay, so Mermy, like Merm? Merm. Merm. Is so Merm. sweet, super nice. Just overall super fine. And we were at Rock Bottom and we were having drinks with rock a bunch bottom. of the Edge and people and um, the waitress was okay at first, and then she was kind of being bitchy, and then she was like, okay, it's last call. And Merm was like, oh, okay, well, can I have another drink? Can we order a drink? And she was like, it's last call. Last call, obviously. <laughs> you can't have another drink. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Merm was like, like well, it's last call, You said it was the last call. Now you can't drink anymore? <laughs> and she's so sweet. And the fact that she got pissed at that, I was like, yes. Yes, Jesus you're pissed Christ. too. Yeah, um, uh, the Rock Bottom's a shit restaurant, by the way. Yeah. I think they're a chain. Don't go to the restaurant. They're shit. I'm saying it right now. It's a chain? Oh, Seattle's, Seattle's a lot like Vancouver, I find. Yeah, Seattle's like, just like... That's the thing, yeah. It with doesn't Seattle, feel much nice, different than home. It's kind of the closer to the border you are. Yeah. And Seattle feels going. like Vancouver yeah. um, with, instead of drugged up people, it's drunk people. Yeah. They have they have a booze problem, we have a drug problem. Yeah. That's the difference between our cities. We have more mountains, they have more coastline kind of. That's yeah. the difference. Tomato tomato. Tomato Party tomato. Hard. It's very it's not shocking experience going to America. Uh, when it's Seattle. Levy <laughs> says that waitress was the bane of my existence. Oh shit. <laughs> she was not not great. Um, but it, anyways, I hate to like end on that note, but we had to I had I had to address it. Becky didn't want to, I think. But it was kind of the theme of the weekend was Becky and I'll I say being it like, personally. God damn these people! <laughs> just like continuously, we'd have a great time out with the turbos, then we'd deal with somebody in the service industry and just oh be like, God. Ah, why are you so Why do you have to bring our day down? Like, um, so anyways, just wanted to address it because it, it's tough. And we're looking, inter we're interested to see what Pack South is like. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I've, I've only heard nice hospitality. things about Texas. They're known Texas. about their hospitality. Yeah. But some oh, people yeah. say the hospitality is so thick Barbecue. that it's obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be interesting to see Y'all that. Y'all have what a good time. <laughs> that trifecta, that, or that, tri that triangle of... Um, I'm gonna get me some barbecue. Shit. So that was... Also racism. I'm gonna go visit where Hank <laughs> hey, I hope you're having a good time, y'all, but I hope you're not having a good time. That can be a white the only black guy. Oh. <laughs> That's not how it is. They're not that right. It's not how it is. But it's sort of how it is. <laughs> Sometimes. I hear it's not like that at all in the metro areas. Oh yeah, I'm sure. But when you not. get out yeah, of the I'm metro sure areas, it starts to get a yeah. little I've only heard. I've only heard. I can't speak with authority on it. Hey. We're gonna get a lot of hate. For any of these How moments, close I think. is San Antonio to, to the mind. southern border of Texas? San Antonio is amazing. No, how close is it to the southern border? Oh, I don't know. Well, that's what I'm looking most forward to is Mexican food. Yeah, exactly. And I'm yeah. hoping that, like, I, I think it's one of the closer ones, I think. I don't know. I, did, I don't know at all. Anyone else? Mm. Tex Mex. Yeah. No, uh, not you idiots. Chat. I'm not and, banking and on you idiots knowing just, where San Antonio is. Kotaku said, I'm an idiot too, I'm not blaming you. <laughs> I think it's because the editor of Kotaku is from the South that he said it as a rivalry thing to say, um, I hope that maybe they hold the next pack South at a real city. Huh? Seemed like a big troll to put out there about San Antonio. Jeez. But I think it's because he's from the South and it seems there's a lot of city rivalry there. Between oh, well, you saw Conan goes to where the best Conan Southern goes to, to Dallas, Dallas and, and he, he made constant jokes Houston. about Austin or Houston and yeah, they I seem to all have a lot of rivalry because they're football teams, I think. Yeah. It's Texas, duh. Oh. I don't go to Texas deep barbecue. I, I go do. to Texas deep Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating both. Yeah, I'll eat both. Or have uh, a Mexican cut your lawn. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I was not expecting 
<laughs> There's no lawn down there, the Ben. It's too hot. <laughs> you said that you go to Texas First to have off. a Mexican cut your lawn. <laughs> but you have to buy a lawn to get yeah, that Yeah, there's to no happen. lawn down there. It's too fucking wow. hot. Are you going to bring a patch with you? Like One day. One day I'll, I'll buy me a plot of land. <laughs> I'm just going to... Over water. You're a terrible person. person. Water supply. <laughs> Sit here. We're gonna go to the river walk and we're gonna go see the Alamo and we're gonna get a Davy Crockett. So are we is this gonna be a, one of the Davy only Crockett was Mexican? Packs no. we have to go to early to make sure that we do all the tourists. Right yeah, now. I would actually like to tag okay, it we'll there see. too on. Um, My anyways, sister lived there in you know, that all said, we had great experiences with real Bostonians, the ones that yeah, didn't talk totally. to us over a counter, and those were a lot of our fans. <laughs> it's and definitely the counter. The division. <laughs> yeah. It's that. Of, Wall. The cab like divider, the, the cab counter, divider, yeah. something where they can look down on um, you. It was a good pack, though. So, yes. Uh, it, good, not great, and that's solely because of the lack of curse party. Everybody was was wanting for a great curse yeah, party. The past two Boston packs have out-partied Seattle for sure. Yeah. And, and, and Boston needs that because Boston as a city is more sprawling yeah. and the actual places to hang out are... In Seattle, the party's at Gameworks. Bam. Yeah. The party's yeah. at this bar that's another block away. Within Bam. Like, block. it's yeah. all centralized Pike within this Place little... Pike Place Brewery. Pike Place Brewery. Like, it's all within, like, a five-minute walk, whereas in yeah. Boston, it's like a ten-minute cab ride to the next venue. Yeah, it's true. And that's why the Curse Party was such a necessary thing each year. Too bad. It is not freezing down there in January. You probably think it's freezing. <laughs> what temperature is it in Celsius down there in January? Yeah, it's probably, like, ten. Anybody that's, in the chat right now, here now. Uh, <laughs> know that they're going to be able to make it to San Antonio that hasn't been able to make it to other Paxes? Oh. Do we have some Southern Turbos Maybe. in there that are excited for the uh, announcement of San Antonio Pax? Let's run some Raid Broncos! 40 is Howdy, so cool! y'all! Me! I will! Maybe me! Probably. So one thing I was thinking about setting up is like, um... You think you like my I, I would say that... Yeah, a little. Uh, 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 turbos. There's two things I want to say actually. One is turbos. You should subscribe to FFS TV at PAX. I won't use that with SMS updates, text message updates. I promise you I will not use it unless it relates to PAX. Meaning that when we get notified by the thousand of turbos that fucking Twitter us the second that tickets go on Which sale, we appreciate. Becky and I have the benefit of like a fan base that makes sure that we know immediately. <laughs> you might not immediately get notified. We will relay that, that to you as soon as possible. Second thing I want is that the second that you are notified that the tickets are on sale and you get into the queue and you make it through the queue, regardless of how many tickets you need, buy as many as you can with full knowledge Which I think is that four. there is almost definitely going to be another turbo ready to take them That's off true. your hands. That's true. I would rather them get distributed among our community yeah. than to be scalped off somewhere else. And That's I true. think that you can trust the turbos, a fellow turbo, to meet you at PAX and give you the, the cash that yeah. the, the tickets were. Yeah, you really could trust Sharing them to do is that, caring. I think a lot more have been turned away from not being able to buy tickets yeah. than anything else. So if you can afford it, uh, if you can yeah, afford to you buy afford the it. full allotted amount, I think it's four. Wow, people are saying already playing Caffeinated Good. Rat and Gaminator. You guys are so fucking Oh, sweet. I wanted to mention also Caffeinated Rat sent me the money for the... Uh, he tr said he tried... He had budgeted to pay for the tab at Kaze, but because it was such a clusterfuck paying for the bill <laughs> that he wasn't able to get past and pay it in time. Oh, Jesus. The entire bill? Yes, he wanted to cover the whole thing, but he wasn't able to get That's there in good. time to do it. So he was only able to get his table. Because Aww, they, you're so fucking yeah. sweet, dude. You don't. Uh, he need ended to up that sending stuff. me a big donation for the sake of turbos, so that helped me Aww. for the amount of turbo dollars I had to spend to cover the overflow so of the bill in past caffeinated years. Caffeinated rat. Yeah, so thank, thank you, caffeinated, caffeinated rat, for that. He's Taff basically picked awesome. up the last three years of Chris of is causes. calling you a jerk. In a way. But Chris I love him. Chris is calling him a jerk. Yep. Oh, but then he says he loves him. Yeah. Aww. That's okay. Chris I likes wanted the bad to pay boys. for some, but he refused. Says Caffeinated. Caffeinated rat hides. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I think that covers everything I wanted to say. Is and like, tried getting you drunk. let's work as a core group to like, yeah, really get a good the idea. turbos out because we really need more of them, right? Yeah, at this, well, totally, we totally love, don't. We the love more, our well, the more, the more, <laughs> overwhelming. <laughs> but, um, but mainly, uh, man, the turbos love hanging out together. Yeah, that, it's awesome. That's incredible. How much they love hanging out together. Like they have the best parties. Yeah. Megan and I couldn't get into one bar that one night because we didn't have our passport. And they didn't give a shit. They stayed there. We went yeah. to another bar. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> well, they, like, a couple times at the last Jeez. prime, we're like, so what are you guys doing? So, like, oh, we're just hanging out with each other. Yeah. What See you, you later. Doing? Yeah, exactly. Losers. <laughs> Yeah. It's one thing Becky and I missed was returning to the hotel room, just the two of us. Becky at one point found on found on cable television amateur wrestling. <gasps> uh, I know. That would have been good. Oh, yeah, I think you. It was I like texted yeah, you yeah, about it, it was rerun amateur wrestling where Booker From the T 90s. Booker T was an amateur. Oh Whoa. my god! In an amateur awesome. league, cool. TNA, maybe. No, <laughs> TNA is new. <laughs> It was terrible and amazing. Oh, just like that early days great. ECW, maybe. Yeah, we miss you guys a lot. Early then. days ECW seemed like pretty low budget. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's enough wrestle talk. So <laughs> no, I think going. that's. Oh yeah, Ultimate Warrior died while you guys were gone. Oh eh? yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, not while we were gone. No, right before yeah. we left. That oh, really? was the day we thought we were leaving in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joke day. Did you guys see the tribute I edited together for nope. him? No. No. Oh, Go it's check. cute. It's good. Um, Check the YouTubes for that. I also wanted to say that... Ah, fuck it. I'll show it to yeah, you guys. You'll like it. European Gaming Expo is going on September 27th to the 29th. I might be getting the name of it and the date wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so... But it's happening and a bunch of people are going to it. So oh, that's cool. You guys should check Meet it up. out. Uh, it's a fan expo I'm in sorry, Vancouver DK. this weekend. I'll be Deacon will be there. I'll be there Deacon on Saturday. Be there. Deacon. Deacon. I guess. <laughs> Saturday. Okay, yeah, about Fan Expo. So, Andy, See look out for me. See you there, Andy. <laughs> oh, are we going to talk about our flight? What happened on your flight? While on our flight, a guy, um, this couple comes on and does the thing where the steward or the attendant had booked them seats across from each other, saying, you know how attendants. I don't know if you've flown enough with another person where sometimes an attendant will say, I booked you across from each other because the seats weren't available, but oh. you might be able to convince the people to put yeah. you just together. They tried to do that with these two people and oh, said, no way. I wonder if we could, uh, I could sit like with her, could maybe you could swap and, with yeah. this guy. And one guy was just a dick <laughs> and didn't, was like, no, no. No, not happening. Sorry. The other guy said yes, but seemed really not okay with it. Really? was like really weird about it. And then after they, uh, but so... It turned out there was a confusion, There's and it turned out right that they ended us. up just swapping, and then the couple ended up on the outside seats because they had sucked at communicating with them oh about this. Oh my god. Then, then they started getting snippy about it, the couple. Oh really? And they started, she started going like this, because it's so hard to sit at the window seat, <laughs> like this, over top of the guy who re refused. Oh man. Uh, the, the, the guy was weird about it, over top of him, <laughs> and like just being snarky. Even though she's also basically admitting that it's not a big deal to sit the window seat, which she was trying to explain that she can't do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And anyways, she was a bitch. <laughs> then, just as the, 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 the they're about to pull away from the gate, the guy beside her starts going. Oh God. <laughs> that loud. Right behind me, and I'm like. <laughs> and then. Um, people around him are like, you okay? Are you all right? And the guy behind him is like, he did this on another flight. It, it's okay. Like, so I thought it was an anxiety thing. Calm down. Sure, yeah. And the guy was like, that is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. And then so somebody Whoa. goes, bing. And then the stewardess comes so out scary. and says, what's the problem, honey? And, and he's, like, he's like, she wants to sit with him. And I... Prevented that from happening, and that <laughs> is not okay with me. <laughs> that loud, oh my. and oh, she's like, even louder. the stewardess was amazing. Oh, she's like, okay, honey, don't worry yeah. about it. We're gonna, we're gonna she figure this so out for good. you. Okay? Air Canada, they were very. And good. then he says, you need to move me to another aisle seat, and not this aisle seat. <laughs> and then he's like, cause it makes me very. Angry! Was he the fucking Hulk? I don't know. Was he about I think to bust out of the plane? Word for word. Ding, ding. Ding. You it seemed like we had in an odd aisle seat. He was messed up. Oh yeah. Holy yeah. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't. Must, yeah. Must so, be. anyways, they ended up taking him Jeez. up to the front. And she's acting very nice they to him, like he's a child. Dude got first class for freaking out. Eventually, you hear him <laughs> screaming <laughs> off the plane. So, police apparently come, according to Andy oh, Wong. Andy, Andy was on the Cruxy flight after was us. On our plane, and Andy was. Oh man! The SG-1 O'Neill in the chat was 
in the airport. Andy uh, saw a police run past and grab the guy and drag him away. <laughs> oh apparently. my god. And, and his god. friend, I'm assuming, is a co-worker, not really a friend, because he was completely removing himself from yeah. the whole thing. Uh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a tense situation because... Jesus Christ. I was filling out our customs form and I had a pen and I couldn't profile, so I couldn't see... I could hear his stress, yeah, but I couldn't see what was oh, going man. on, so I just had my pen ready to like stab <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> I was Easy, Becky. Fucking <laughs> scary. I just went to go see the movie nonstop too with Liam Neeson about the plane yeah, takeover. Yeah. That was good. It, I was good. ready. That's funny. That I would have like have to help step in because the asshole who was also involved in the exchange of seats was just burying himself in like his book. <laughs> Also, it's a very good book. I know I'm he's an very... asshole because later, when the couple asked if he could pass their passports because they had traded seats finally, he was like, "I already gave you your passport," and they're like, oh "No, no, God. the card or whatever." The custom. So it was card. shitty people being shitty to each other, they which is nice justice. They're all shitty, shitty. people. <laughs> That's good. Except um, for the guy at least they all had to deal out, with some shitty. Except for one guy behind that wasn't his coworker. The coworker also wasn't going to step in. I made eye contact with him during it. He Whoa. was not going to deal with it. <laughs> There's one other guy who looked like kind of a big guy who was ready to subdue. Yeah. yeah. And it looked like to me that it was going to be between me and him. <laughs> and I wasn't happy about that because I was not going to be able to take an adrenaline fueled nut job with my pussy wrists. But oh, like, man. who yeah. else was going to do it? The stupid bitch, the <laughs> asshole, ready. the friend who was removing himself. <laughs> no. Okay, so then that happened. And then they took him off the plane, and they had to get his stuff out the bottom, and like... Oh yeah, that's a big We only pain, had an hour transfer in Toronto, so we had to do the fucking thing that we had to do in Montreal. Running. The whole run through the yeah. airport, oh yeah. sweating, yeah. we were like... Basically, I will never book a flight again that doesn't have a two-hour <gasps> It was layover. awful, yeah. and then we And they'll finally, probably charge you more for that, which is the unfortunate thing. Yeah. And then it, they come over the PA, and they're like, people on gate 39 going to Last Vancouver call. should be on the plane right now. And, and then so you get there. Fraser and I are running through the airport, and we finally Jeez. get on and the plane. And then they're bitches about, to us really? when Total we got there. Total bitches. And then we sit down, and they're like, and we're going to be taking off early today. Early. Like, oh they were about to take off God. early. That's crazy. And Fuck made us you. run. Yeah. You guys are Fuck dicks. Fuck you. Anyways, let's uh, oh. change. The this. ultimate warrior is awesome! Uh, yeah. Let me get what the fucking guy, man. quality changed I here. I just... what? The ultimate warrior is awesome! Yeah! <laughs> there you go, you got it all. You're awesome. Thank you, thank you. They say, oh, yeah, you go, you got it all. the weekend. We have one other segment after this um, that regards uh, to what Nintendo got up, plus one major announcement that was made during the conference, Ooh, during nice. one of the um, you know how uh, Metal Gear Ground Zeroes was announced at the last packs. Oh yeah. One major announcement at this one worth oh. talking about. We'll be back after the break. What? 